Hello, Kit fans, and welcome to another episode of the Talking Kit podcast, which is essentially a podcast for football kit fanatics made by three football kit fanatics. I am Double A, your host, Aaron, and as always, I'm joined by James. What's going on, James? You okay? Very good. Very good. Thank you. As you may hear or see, still no Sean. Don't know where he is. Playing silly beggars as always. He has told us he's going to be back soon, but let's hope that's uh, sooner rather than later. He is missed on the pod, isn't he, James? He is missed. We did have to have a, a team talk with him and say, look, what's going on? But he, he, he will yeah. be making his return. Yeah, um, look, I already know there's some stories as well that he's going to go through with us, which would be great. So, I can't wait. Yeah, luckily we didn't have to go to uh, Neil Warnock Heights in terms of the team talk. Mm. It was all very amicable and such. There was, but, there uh, was no boots kicked in faces or anything like that. No, definitely not. Although he has got a black eye, so that's, you know, yeah. another was story we can tell but that was nothing to do with us so how have you been um obviously it's been a couple of weeks since we recorded the main pod uh with tom been all right very good very good yeah um obviously we had the international break but um kits are plenty on display in the premier league obviously we've had the yeah. strip down as well haven't we uh yeah. that we've done so yeah i've been good mate nothing 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 major to report been enjoying that um obviously for the main pod people might not know if you're watching you may notice just behind me there is a little kit with Robert's 22. I'm expecting a baby. I found out. Well, not found out, but I announced not too long ago. So, yeah, bought my little Baba. It's first uh, football kit, United kit, which I'm very, very happy about. So, yeah, that's that's mainly my news. You didn't ask James, but I'm telling you anyway, pal. So, well, we have... sorry, sorry, to me, it's obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed a bit for you, but it's just, uh, I didn't even think to mention that, I'll be honest. Tell, tell your face out then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we have got an absolutely bumper episode uh, lined up for you. Been excited for this one. It's been in the works for a couple of weeks now. And we're starting to move into getting guests on the show. I think the next sort of seven or eight pods have all got a guest on, which we are so excited about. Start spreading the, the love on Talking Git kit getting people involved in the show who love kits just as much as as we do you know whether it's specialist youtube presenters or people just in the in the kit community you know we want to start spreading that love and getting stories from uh other people rather than just us three um i know we had tom on and he was brilliant talking about spurs and i think this guest is just going to be you know sort of up there as well been watching him on twitter for a little while and yeah he seems like to have like He's like the star of kits at the moment on, on, on Twitter. He's just everywhere. I see him all the time. Really entertaining uh, with the, the post he put on there about stories, about kits and stuff like that. And he's, you know, he's doing some great stuff. So for what, why not get him on talking kit and let's talk some kit with him. So we do have Josh, a.k.a. the Kits Man. And here he is. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, mate? Hello. All right. Thank you, Aaron. How are you? I know. We're brilliant, mate. Absolutely delighted to have you on the pod. Yeah. Like I say... Been seeing you around. Obviously, we've been speaking for a couple of weeks, mm. uh, trying to get you on and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, what? Who better than someone who loves kits just as much as probably we do uh, yeah. to come on and be the sort of the first official guest? So well, yeah, you are know. you are kind of breaking know, right? our popping our cherry in terms of guests. So Isn't that lovely stuff. <laughs> yeah. Be nice, be nice and gentle with us. That's all. We oh have. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, we will, we will. Trust me. So let's go into it then. So obviously. Massive kit fan, as you can probably mm. tell. Um, we'll start off. Um, let's talk about the kit you're wearing today and uh, tell everyone. Yeah. It is. yeah, this one's quite um, like I sort of jumped on it by accident, really. Um, football kit box, a uh, really cool guy. Um, had it sort of like um, on some of his uh, on his, on his imagery. And I kept on saying, are you going to sell that shirt? Is that shirt up for grabs? I mean, it's such an iconic shirt, you know? It's just, um, I quite like the sponsor as well, um, Wind. I believe every time you go over to Italy and you get your um, network provider changed over, it gets changed over to Wind. Ah, um, so, 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 so that's that's a relevance for their, um, for their sponsorship. But no, it's, it's a proper tight, tight number. I mean, I'll just... It's it's it's, it's Kappa, it's, isn't it? Yeah, that's, it's, that's why I tend to avoid Kappa these days as a portly gentleman. But um, <laughs> you're pulling it off well. I'll give you that, Josh. You're pulling it off well, mate. It's not giving oh, you too much. It's all good. Fantastical. <laughs> better, than we, better than we would. Uh, no, it's, it, it is tough, though, because Kappa are very sort of snug. And I think it kind of sort of um, dons to the actual Italian 
the well, it's, 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 yeah, the Italian man, I guess. You know, quite trendy, yeah. quite quite thick. Um, but you know, quite <laughs> athletic. And whenever you buy a sort of the combat kits, which is the more tapered to and sort of um, tailored shirt, um, yeah, you got to go a couple of sizes up. I mean, I've got a two XL um, Kappa combat shirt. That's it. It's literally a medium. So it's <laughs> wow. it's so it's so hard to judge it, but but thankfully they've just bought out more regular fit. Yeah. Uh, when they got the Villa deal, um, the latter uh, seasons of the um, Leeds deal as well, they started sort of enabling the uh, sort of standards fit, which meant people could go more true to size and know what they're buying and not have to refund it. Yeah, no, I'm sure sense. Aaron's got loads of questions for you. I just wanted to ask because you've got a Roma shirt on, and I did. Have a Roma shirt years and years ago. I'm not even too sure it is now. Do you tend to stick to certain, like for example, Italian clubs? You just have just one club, and you'll purchase their sort of their kits are out, or do you just do you play around with that as a as a concept? Just just everything. I mean, I just for me, out of all the leagues um, in the world, Serie A, Serie B, and all the lower tiers are just so good. Like usually, what you'll find is like in other clubs in other uh, countries, you'll get like templates that just go from sort of League One, League Two, League Three, and yeah. there's no variation. Whereas with Italian football, there seems to be still this bespoke and um, uniqueness about some of the kits lower down. And I think that's really cool because they are proud of their club. And it, it, it costs as well to get bespoke yeah. shirts designed for you. I mean, that's why a lot of the lower league clubs do go bes- um, template because it's more cost efficient. But um, yeah, with Italian clubs, for instance, um, I've got a few Serie C shirts and they're outrageous. Um, there's a guy I know called Amilcare Elvo and he's a he's a, a football shirt designer from Italy. Um, and there's this brand called Zeus. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Never, I've never either. heard of it. No, no. No, I hadn't either until about three or four years ago. And I've since been getting their shirts and they're absolutely incredible. Um, wow. I mean, I'm just going to try and let's have a look. Yeah. Um, you can't really get sort of the um, fabric impression on screen there, but it's really sort of designed beautifully. It's got like silicon detailing everywhere it's a heavy shirt as well so the fabric's really sort of high quality um and yeah i mean clubs just are proud of their kits in italy which is why i'm sort of happy to spend a little bit on them so in answer to your question if it's if it's italian <laughs> club yeah I'll, I'll buy whatever i've got no allegiance can we ask what team that is that's, Fros- from the shirt from? that's frosinone they're in Serie, uh, Serie B. Um, Serie they B. were in Serie A last season of the year before, but only briefed in. Yeah, so it's a beautiful sort of blue and yellow, obviously, you listen to the audio podcast. Beautiful blue and yellow. Kind of yeah. reminds me of the sort of early 90s like, Division One, Division Two teams that sort of very, it looks like very similar to those kind of teams. Like you think of your Gillinghams and, That's your right. yeah. and all them. Yeah. Definitely yeah. reminds me of those kind of shirts. Beautiful. They've got, they've got the lightning bolts on there as well, hence Zeus. Zeus, I love that. Nice, it's quite nice. Love that. So, as the first guest, you're going to sort of, we're going to go through. So, what we're going to do every time we have a guest is do some sort of quick fire questions regarding sort of kits to get a, a feel of who you are and what you sort of look for when you're you're going for kits. So, we've got seven questions. We'll take it in terms of me and James to ask you just straight away, whatever you, comes to mind, just uh, give your answer. All right. Okay. So, I'll, kick us off so the first one short or long sleeves oh uh short very nice um stadium or in, or authentic shirt so stadium Auth- so obviously. authentic yeah okay authentic cool. yeah collar or no collar collar very quick with that answer yeah um <laughs> sponsor yes or no um on, oh yes or no um <laughs> oh god that's, oh that's incredibly tough um Oh no, guys! You can't be doing that to me. You might be quick as well, didn't you? No, oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, one to eleven or squad numbers. One to eleven. Nice. Um, training shirts or training jackets? Oh, training jackets. Yeah. Okay. And the last one: online purchase or charity shop find? Charity shop find. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I think, I I think with that one. Yeah, I think yeah. most of those answers were pretty much the ones I, I had in mind. So, 
you can stay you can you can stick around <laughs> <All> right <laughs> brilliant so yeah if we go to the very beginning um, yeah. what is it about about kits what 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 was it that sparked it in you to sort of become you know a collector and become so fanatical well it was always been an interest of mine you know growing up um i'm not gonna lie i'm a newcastle fan but i didn't start off a newcastle fan i started off a blackburn Rovers fan no, we're, oh. we're, among, we're, we're amongst we're amongst friends. Yeah, I'm, I'm not there as well. <laughs> so basically, what it was was I wasn't I was a fan of Alan Shearer. Love the guy. Ah, you know, a, lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot a lot of people do. You know, you know, sort of like Premier League sort of icon legend. Um, and yeah, Button Rovers '94 '95 shirt, their Premier League winning shirts as well. Had the home and aways. Um, can remember watching them on an analog TV in my kitchen in Europe um sort of just you know getting beaten badly um and yeah i remember sort of coming home from i think it was on sort of camping one year and uh we we're in the car and then suddenly news flash shear has moved to newcastle and i was like there in the red voxel astra going up the a46 towards lincoln i changed my colors uh and i'm now i was then a blackburn a newcastle united fan so obviously then newcastle united shirt 95, 96, Nicky Brown Ale, Adidas. Um, yes. Oh, so good. Grandad, Grandad Collar, yeah. Um, Even like the goalkeeper kits for Newcastle that around that era were just great as well, weren't they? It's so good. So good. So like you had this sort of silhouette of a time bridge on there. Um, mm. Shaka Hislop, Pavel Cernicek, just just loving it. Um, yeah. And uh, no, just absolutely sensational. Um, obviously then, you know, I just carried on my love of football shirts, started going into international shirts. Um, but I wasn't a collector as such. I was just, you know, fond of it. Um, it was only up until, well, the last mm, sort of 10 years, I'd say, that I've been really gathering a collection of shirts, um, charity shops, hunting, bargains online, trading shirts you know become a lot more of a collector in the last 10 years um mm. and obviously in the last four years creating the kitsman account uh things have just gone a little bit a little bit silly <laughs> yeah. as, as you can do um yeah so if you go so you, you mentioned obviously blackburn and mm. sort of the the title winning team what would is that the first shirt you had or can you remember the first shirt you, you sort of ever owned it's the first shirt it was the asics one yeah. um Thing and McEwen's Lager was the sponsor, um, and it's just such a great shirt. Uh, it had a beautiful button collar, which I think yeah. is probably why I like collar so much because I associate it to the first shirt I ever got. Um, but it was just beautiful. Um, ASICs, yeah, were the um, uh, shirt manufacturer, which you don't see a lot of ASICs anymore, they no. seem to be more of an athletics brand sort of see them on international track and fields and commonwealth yeah. games and things like that um but they really had a fantastic time with newcastle as well actually yeah exactly. um and i'd say that was my first shirt and then inevitably i got the way shirt which was red um they brought that back a bit recently i think the red color for a v away tops of blackburn just you know like they do they like to influence the past and such um but no i think blackburn rovers and i've quizzed i've quizzed um the rents about it because it's just gone it's 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 sort of vanished <laughs> you know i don't know where it's gone usually you get these stories of people that oh i've just been up the loft today and found a box full of amazing shirts which are yeah. probably worth more than my house um whereas now um i've been asking these questions oh, i don't know Jeff. I don't know man. <laughs> you know but he sold the lead mm. <laughs> it's a shame I, yeah most of my kids from growing up of all Disappeared, but I, yeah, I remember the Blackburn um, home shirt, I, the away shirt. I always remember the, the it was red and black. That's I, right. I love that. I love that shirt. That that's yeah. one I sort of remember them, sort of um, early nineties. Really ahead of your time as well to like a player more so than a team. That's not sort of like what people do now sort of for American sports, isn't it? Like the NFL and stuff like that. Follow players, yeah, yeah, that's right. Rather than a team, so that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, also David Ginola, big fan of David Ginola. In fact, uh, me and my best mate would spend hours trying to recreate certain goals of his in the back garden. Uh, there's one, <laughs> one, one, one particular one in Europe against Ferrash Varos, uh, where he sort of did this naughty little chip up to himself uh, on the knee, um, volley, crossbar and down. Apparently it got done once. I'm not too sure. <laughs> what me did it anyway. Another bar. Uh, so yeah. So obviously, obviously, even after Shearer has gone, you've stuck a Newcastle fan. That's your team. I saw you sort of tweeting uh, last night about the game. 
Uh, yeah. Like your tweet, like your tweet about uh, it was the uh, matchup of the sweets. The oh, Everton yeah. tweets and the um, yeah. What what, what do they call it? Palm of violets and the humbugs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I just can't. I can't post sensible. It's either going to be pretty sensible and factual, or it's just going to be humorous or observational. Yeah. And that's it's nice to have that nice mix. So obviously now um, they've obviously had the Adidas and Puma phase mm. uh, Newcastle with Castor now. Yeah. yeah. What what you're making of um, sort of that deal and the kits they brought out this season? Yeah, Castor are doing really well for themselves. Like they just sort of everywhere now. They've um, sort of got Wolves, Rangers, Newcastle as well. Yeah. Rumours are a few more for next season. Um, yeah, because they pride themselves on being on a premium sports brand. Um, I remember seeing it, them on Andy Murray first and um, wondering what that logo was. And so now I know. Um, yeah, I haven't got one yet. I'm 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 thinking about it, but I don't know which one to get. The home shirt, obviously everyone's seen the design floor on it where it the looks like four. a massive number four on the front, yeah. which is unfortunate. Uh you don't get that on the kids' version though, because the fun eighty eight logo is off of it. So yeah, right. yeah. don't get that. Um but obviously I can't fit into that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um you've got the away, which is oh it's funky ads. Yeah. It's like that sort of black and gold. It's almost like a sound bar effect where yeah. there's like a ripple on it. That's nice. It's got a lovely collar on it. Um, and then you've got the third shirt, which is blue, which I think is the most aesthetically pleasing. And it's probably the one I would just more wear out more, which is what I'm tending to make my decisions on now, like what I would actually wear as opposed to just have. Um, and I found out recently, uh, I've got a friend that started working for Castor as a team wear designer. He said that an actual Geordie was in charge of making the kit. So, you know, wow. sure, surely got to be in safe hands there. Um, a, a safe first season, but I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what we're going to do in the future. Where they go, New yeah. Sorry, so so a bit like Newcastle's, obviously it's the, it's the stripes and you... Yeah. It sort of limits the kits to an extent, doesn't it? But um, it does. Because we, we always have this discussion of like, you know, like a Burnley kit, it could be a Villa kit, it could be a Scunthorpe kit. There's True. much of a muchness with just the, the sleeve being a different colour. Do you, do you prefer like a, a wider stripe or quite a narrow stripe? Because you wouldn't really associate Newcastle with like a narrow sort of stripe down, would you? And I, I guess yeah. it's difficult to get a difference in kit really with Newcastle. I know what you mean. Like, you you can do stripes right or wrong and um like into uh, ac milan i think from a couple of seasons ago did this thing where they had like this pattern within the stripe uh the black line that went down the yeah the black stripe um had i think like some architecture and it had like a pattern within it i thought that was yeah. quite nice that sort yeah. of played in very well with their traditional culture and also the fact that it wasn't just plain stripes yeah. um Newcastle, this one's quite thick, isn't it? I think there's only three. Right, yeah. memory serves me right. There was the 125th anniversary shirt, which I quite liked, which was very sort of thin stripes. Um, I I just want them just to just not have any gimmicks. Just just give us a black and white, you know, sort of stripe shirt. Even um, no need to sort of add any additional colours to it because it's always like a like a accented colour. Like I think this season it's blue on the trims and such. We've had gold before. Let's get this black and white. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just would like a collar. As like I said to you, I'm a collar fan. Um, not the granddad collar, which we've come out again with this season, the 95-97 shirt. Um, just a standard sort of, you know, some of the night shirts have got it this year. Just yeah. sort of cash. And um, I'll just get rid of that sponsor. Let's get Nuki, <laughs> Nuki, get Nuki Brown back on there. It's got to be, hasn't it? That's what we yeah. said. Yeah. I've seen you. Your photo yesterday, it was at Gary Neville and Cara go oh, yeah. off and a bit of new, uh, new oh, ground. It. And do you know what's funny as well? Like, you saw Cara just having a look back at the people, like, is this all right? Is this all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. I thought he, sat, he sounded a bit tipsy doing the comms last night, so he must have been on that bit. To be <laughs> he fair, loves it. He loves it anyway. <laughs> they'll, they'll be buying a club soon, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, if you got to talk about your collection, do you know how many shirts you've got? Have you ever counted or? 
Yeah, it's flirting around about 110, 120 mark, which isn't actually a lot. Um, I thought it would be, and you know, oh, wow, look at my collection. I've got a rails worth and some boxes underneath. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is, but it's not. There's people out there with rooms full. Um, yeah. So yeah. I don't really class myself as the Kitsman collector. I just class <laughs> myself as, at the moment, you know, someone that's got a very sort of, you know, standard collection, I'd say. Um, I, I exchange some sometimes. I say if I've got some I'm not wearing and I like one that somebody else has got, I'll probably sort of swap it with so that's why the numbers don't necessarily go up a lot or down yeah. let's yeah. stick around that mark but um i've got a few more coming in i've got one this morning which will just um you're a burnley fan aren't you is that right oh, no. No, we're both, we're no. both friends. Both okay. friends. Oh. John's oh a Stockport fan. But that's yeah, right. John's a Stockport Cro fan. Cro 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 I don't know. I right. Maybe you might have been a Burnley fan. But I, <laughs> I got this. I got this today. Um, Faroe Islands. Know much about? Know much not, about? Them. Not internationally. Not about <laughs> football. I mean, no. <laughs> oh, club, club, club football though. Um, oh, definitely not. Definitely not. So got reached out. Got reached. I'm going right off a of garden path here. I do apologise. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This, um, I got a message come in from a gentleman that um, I think runs a second division Faroe Islands team. Um, so he said, really love your account. I just want to ask whether or not you wanted one of our shirts. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow, it's really cool of you. Thanks ever so much. I mean, I, I'm, that, I'm that dude that just, I know you're going to be like this guy. But I don't like taking stuff for free all the time. I think, I'm not a you know a Billy Bigwig or anything. But he said, yeah. "No, we're proud of it. We want to give you it." I'm like, "All right." Um, <laughs> so it came through this morning, um, and yeah, it's a match worn shirt. Uh, they're pushing nice. for they're pushing for promotion uh, back to back to Pro nice. in the Faroes. Nice. Um, checked out. They've got a stadium 2000 uh, just by just by the coast. In fact, you're never that too far away from the coast on the Faroe nice. Islands. To be fair, you are. <laughs> um and yeah you just sent me this this is um this is uh oh, this is their shirt um it's i had to go on to google and type in on translate icelandic to english to work out what the pronunciation of this club is but it's called yeah. it's called aga bol uh bol oh, i'm already butchering it here Boltafelag. <laughs> um but this is apparently from their pacey number 19 um Lovely. In fact, it came with a note in it as well. How cool is this? Look at this. Great this. stuff. Oh, yeah. attention, attention to detail. I love it. Yeah, here you go. So, hi, Josh. How uh, how you are? Fantastic. Um, <laughs> I, I'm fine. Uh, this is a match one jersey from one of our young and promising players. Uh, we are very proud of our colours and hopefully you'll be happy with them too. Um, having it in your collection, kind regards, sports director of RGO Bolotag, Jonas Del Anderson, and he signed it as well. Oh, that's so, amazing. That so, is amazing. So that's, that's the sort of things that you happen here. <laughs> that's amazing. So now you've got a new team yeah, to support? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, in the Faroe Islands. Do you, do you have do you have somewhere special that you keep these? Do you have like a rail of uh, of all your shirts? Do they have a little room? Do you have just a place in your wardrobe? Yeah, where you we keep these hundred plus shirts. Yeah, we, we call it in the nothing happening much room, um, where it's basically just a room where towels are kept, the areas, um, and it, it may be called into action one day. Um, it, yeah for obvious reasons yeah. um you, you know what i'm talking about well, my, <laughs> my, pod, my podcasting room is now becoming one of those <laughs> yeah so fantastic news <laughs> that's that, that that's what it is but for now um yeah. uh it, it is what it is and that is uh storage um and uh yeah no just a rail um got it from ikea um don't know why i'm name dropping ikea but <laughs> um yeah got it from ikea um I, I said it again no reason as to why i did that um and uh yeah no just um sort of standard hangers um just uh why am i going into hangers but yeah there are there are, there are hangers uh, because <laughs> apparently, too. yeah because basically i got told that like you don't fold them up and put them away because you could crease the actual sponsors and destroy them forever um uh hangers are best but they need to be wide so that they're not narrow so that they're actually destroying the shoulder lining so oh, okay there you are a little bit of pointless information for you that's good to everyone so that's why you say you shouldn't uh, fold them up to crease the sponsor. That's why I should go sponsorless, Josh. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's what I'm not saying. what I'm saying, mate. Um, so we talk about your collection. What is your sort of piece of resistance? What's the one that means the most to you in your collection? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I should have brought it down, actually. But it's um, my Sorrento shirt. Um, so Amalfi Coast, Italy. Um, 
went to well i had a honeymoon um um had a honeymoon, <laughs> had a honeymoon. <laughs> uh yeah so it was about four years she's, she's upstairs she can probably hear this um but yeah no four years ago now we went to rome and then went on to the beautiful um coastline of amalfi and um spent four five nights there in like a really nice sort of place ain't gonna happen again mate <laughs> <laughs> um and uh yeah like all people you know we got very romantic you know first night there to get some food and whatnot and then i think Oh, I wonder if they've got a football team. <laughs> um, so sure enough, go on to the old Googles. Um, and I just find that, yes, they have. It's in the middle of town. Let's go check that out. When it's okay with you, babe. <laughs> uh, uh, so I find it and they're in Serie D um, playing red and black. Uh, apparently they're an AC Milan feeder club, which I didn't know. Wow. And, and also a little known Lazio striker called Chiro Immobile started there. So wow. that was quite a nice, nice. little thing. Nice. Um, so sure enough, I thought to myself, yeah, you know, got a few euros left last night. Like, let's go see if they've got a club shop. So um, yeah, just went around and had a look. And uh, yeah, I find this tourist shop in the middle of town. And I'm like, oh, right, there's got to be something in there. So I go through the front doors Um I've got to send you a photograph because they've got these mannequins in there of Ronaldo, Maradona, and a Gareth Bale. But they look so much, they do not look like them at all. It's, it's horrifying. Um, but yeah, as you go in, you've got the home shirts, the away shirts, and the third shirts for Sorrento. It's got Sorrento yeah. FC on the front. They've got like a seahorse on the badge, Nike um, Nike kits. And yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, we'll get one. 50 quid, 50 euros. Yeah, you take it, take it away. It's a nice little memory. Anyway, go on the Twitter and I put on a post about have you got a shirt which you think nobody else has got? Uh, and everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we went there the other day, you know. All the, uh, and then I got a message from the club on there saying that's not our shirt. And I was no. like, I was like, hey, what do you mean it's not your shirt? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? And he said, no, you've been done by a tourist trap. We, we're, we're, in, we're in debates with these guys. And oh, no. we're, we're, we're taking them to court as well. Um, but what they do is they basically just buy in a load of Nike team wear. They slap Sorrento on there. They've come up with a very custom Pro Evolution style sort of badge. <laughs> and they just sell them to unsuspecting <laughs> tourists like me. Oh, um, but their actual shirt was by that Zeus brand that I was talking to you about. Oh, right. so, ah, they, okay. so, so they said you know what we're going to do is we're going to send you our shirt over i was like shut up are you and he went right. no we're going to do it so um <laughs> yeah they sent it and it is delightful it's upstairs but yeah it's just such a cool shirt um and recently i found out that the mafia helped run that shop so, <laughs> so, so i've been quite vocal about it um and saying that you'll don't go here don't go here so next time i go to Italy, oh i'm watching sure <laughs> You'll be uh, you'll be you'll be you'll be sleeping with the seahorses. Oh, yes. <laughs> too right, too right. Yeah. Brilliant. So uh, moving on a little bit. Obviously, you were involved with the classic football shirts exhibition down in London not too long ago. Oh, yeah, that's well cool. um, yeah. Obviously, I've I've been to the one they did up in Manchester, which is well, oh. where me, me and James live <laughs> yeah. at the Herbis. Yeah, um, which 2018, was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was around yeah, there. Yeah. I dragged yeah. dragged drag my girlfriend along. Um, which she, she she loved it. Well, of course she, did. she did. She liked it. She liked it mainly because um, she's in for photographer, so she got to take oh, nice. pictures of the kits and stuff like that. So, um, and I just got to talk kits at her for sort of two two three hours. Um, but no, it's brilliant. So yeah, tell us a bit about obviously uh, going down to London and what you what you was involved with, what you did there, and how how was it? Yes, yeah, it's great. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work with classic football shirts for a while now, which is kind of like ridiculous because they're i'd be right in saying that they are no they are they're the leaders in yeah. sort of football Massive shirt place. retailers i mean they've got it haven't they you've got such Massive. a great story with doug and uh, matt uh how they maxed out their credit cards and yeah. um sort of got in like loads of shirts and just went through it um and they're doing so well and i've become an affiliate of theirs where you know mm. i'll i'll advertise you know um sort of shirts which i find in search and you know i do it in moderation you know you don't want people to spend too much money um but i often sort of like talk about them and you know because i respect them as well they're great yeah. um and yeah sure enough i got an invite down there um for the exhibition that was going on and yeah i got invited to the opening night which i i'm, I'm as far away from celebrity and important person and vip person as you can get but literally that night like paul gascoigne was there yeah. ian wright was there um youtubers with like 
who I've seen, but you know, I just just there walking around, sort of, um, you know, just talking to other YouTubers. Um, yeah. You know, I felt like I had no reason to be there. Like, what am I doing? But then I thought to myself, actually, no. Come on, Chapman, man, you've earned this. Like, yeah. you know, you've um, become a what you say a pillar of society in the football kit, <laughs> sir. And um, you know, uh, I'd like to think that I've done something for people, and uh, I felt like, you know. God, this might be the thing I always needed. Um, so, yeah, I got there and then they managed to say as well that you can stay and uh, talk on the second night. We'd love to hear you on the community night. And it was uh, me, Alice Platten. Yeah. Um, it was um, uh, Andrew Mensa that does a lot of the uh, What I Wore. Yeah. Um, you had, um, uh, oh, she's got an Italian sounding name. I can't remember, but she's the one that did the Puma um, shirts, but she did all the embroidery. Embroidery, yeah, That's yeah, it. amazing. She was there, yeah, yeah. So she was such a great person. And uh, you had DJ that was at the Euros was there. It was just a great and Chris Stark as well. Um, oh, right, yeah, which I realised was a Wat Watford fan. Um, yeah, uh, you know, we got talking to him, and no, it was just great. And it was the first time I've actually so I've seen them before, but the first time I've seen that many classic shirts up close. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can't really appreciate them on, uh, on 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 the internet, but when you're actually there in person, you're looking at them and the, and the detail, the quality, um, the condition that we're in as well. Yeah. Um, they're just absolutely fantastic. It just makes you sort of happy that you sort of are in the sort of um, hobby that you're doing. Yeah, it, it's brilliant. And obviously, and it feels like sort of, I mean, we've all loved kits. I mean, everyone's got a kit story or, or whatever, you know, you, you've got a brilliant one about your honeymoon and stuff, but it seems like the last sort of couple of years, it's just been a football kit boom, you know, yeah, coincides, coincides with class, classic football shirts. And, you know, this this podcast is kind of associated with, with classic football shirts because it's, it's it come from a dream that I had and I reached out to them and we was, talking about doing it through them and we've done it on oh, our mate. own for, for whatever reason but i still speak to doug all the time and oh, he's listening to guy, it he's, oh he's amazing he's guy. listened to it and hopefully one day we'll get him on you know because oh, wow. just to hear, hear his stories and i live not too far from their new warehouse oh yeah it's it, like it's like the absolute mecca it's massive I, it? sent, I sent you a picture dinner james and stuff and yeah it's it's so big it's it's absolutely you amazing could but, get lost there he, oh, he spent all day in there. I imagine sometimes I'm going to ask him this question: Does he sort of throw a loads of kits on the floor and does sort of like a Scrooge McDuck and just dive in them? No, he does. Swim around. You know he does. Around. No, he does. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think he has to. I mean, I just the knowledge as well of a guy. Like, yeah. Just yeah. you think, yeah, you, you are who you are, and you have this sort of like empire now, but you also know so much. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Like most most of the product descriptions on that website is him. And it's just on a sunny day in Bologna and things like that, it'd be like <laughs> describing describing when it was warm. Um, and it, oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't go on about it. I won't go on about it. Oh, please, yeah. So <laughs> I've got some um, photos from the exhibition just to see film kits. Uh, I think this one I have nicked off your Twitter, so apologies. All right, never, uh, but ne I, ne never apologies. No. Never apologies. <laughs> but I know, I know it's one James absolutely loves. Um, so I thought I had to get it up on there. So the I've first not one I've seen got. This yet. Is the Cameroon yeah. sleeveless kit? James loves this one. Yeah, um, so that looks like. Is that one of those that they've sewn them into after yeah. they were in trouble? They've had to sew. They've had to sew the sleeves into, obviously, because they got in trouble by FIFA uh, for the 2002 World Cup, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it was. Like, yeah. so I had to familiarise myself with the date as well because I was going to talk about that shirt, but we didn't get round to it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. with that yeah. shirt as well, obviously because it was sleeveless. But what I realised well, obviously top athletes, but. All the guys look really shredded in it, and you just I think it's quite an intimidating thing to yeah. come up against. You'd imagine as well. So I love that kit. It's such a shame that they weren't allowed to wear it. I yeah, know. I think the only one that comes close in terms of Cameroon kits is obviously the one they had after that, which was the onesie. Yes. Uh, oh, oh I mean that is <laughs> that is an absolute classic kit. Um, but I mean African kits in general, I think always sort of have a pleasing aesthetic to them. Very vibrant, very colourful. Um, you know, you think of Nigeria, you think of sort of even Ghana have some beautiful kits, Ivory Coast with that sort of very vibrant orange. Um, big fan, big fan of African kits, but Cameroon, you no, know, definitely uh, sort of innovators in sleeveless kits, onesies. No one else is doing that sort of thing. That, uh, Cameroon and Puma, beautiful. That's credit to Puma as well, because I think Puma do try and push the boundaries as well. So it, yes, it, yeah, definitely. 90%. Look at the third definitely. kits of this year, they're getting a lot of hassle, but 
you know, they're having a bit the of fun, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, the, only, the, one, <laughs> the only one I liked was the Dortmund one, just simply yeah. it looks better. And they obviously they put a badge on it as well. It looks yeah. really, really good, really good. Uh, so the next one we've got, I mean, a great wall of kits there. That's um, all the night kits there. Um, yeah, yeah. England, obviously the Inter. Mm-hmm. You got Spurs, Norway, PSG. Um, you could talk all day. Nike, Nike, Nike for me. Who who do you sort of rank as the best sort of kit manufacturer, Josh? Have you got anyone in particular you prefer? Or, um, oh, that's a really good question. Um, I'd say in terms of um, pushing the boundaries um, and constantly bringing something new to the table, I do. I, I love Kappa. I think Kappa. they've just got some really nice ideas forward thinking um and when i mean forward thinking i mean have you heard of the ever heard of a velcro badge which you can take off and change that's <laughs> no. that, that, that's what red star are playing in this season they can actually yeah. take off the badge and they can put on another badge for not club but actual meaning or charity or um yeah. uh, movement or something like that i mean yeah it's a bit of a gimmick but they're the ones to do it. Um, yeah. I think um, some of their technology as well. Uh, I mean, the 2000 Italy shirt, which had this actual technology in it. Yeah. Like they designed that not just because uh, it, it looked quite nice on, uh, 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 on sort of like the Italian team, but also because it had uh, tactical advantages. So, for instance, if a player was about to take off a shot and it was a shirt that wasn't as flexible, they'd probably be pulled back. But because it had yeah. a flex, they could take off a shirt, they could take off a shot. Uh, and also, the referee could see when their shirt was being pulled a lot easier, which would mean there'd be more sort of fouls given. So that, again, was just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree. Kappa, Kappa kits are absolutely great. Um, even, I, I probably shouldn't say it being a United fan, but I remember the, is it 98, 99 City one? Which obviously oh, the oh, yeah. championship that is a great kit and so good. Um, brother, right? Brother, <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it was, it yeah, it was brother at the yeah. time. Um, yeah, they've had they've had some. I've got one. The one Kappa kit I've got is the 2010 Valencia away uh, orange, oh, yeah. um, sort of one matter time. But yeah. like, like say, far too tight, and I need to they sort are, of hit the gym, hit the gym before are, I can wear it comfortably. I think. Um, so this next picture I've got, I mean, it's just. When you think of a, a lineup of of legends, I don't think you can get much better than that. That is just beautiful. The Ronaldo ten is, for me, he's known for nine, but Ronaldo ten in that inter shirt, beautiful, so good. beautiful, so, good. so beautiful. Good. beautiful. And, and then it's just effortless, isn't it? It it really is. Obviously, then you think of the the, the away shirt on that season, which is obviously the grey and black, mm-hmm. um, horizontal stripes, just amazing. And obviously, Kappa again. Uh, the yeah. Juventus, the Juventus kit, uh, the Dan Twenty One, beautiful. Uh, yeah. I remember that. Obviously, is it Sony mini disc they had at the yes. on that one. Yeah, so, oh, it, it brings back memories. The Champions yeah. League, United, and stuff like that. It's just, it's just beautiful. Absolutely love it. Uh, and yeah, you got to love a bit of uh, Roberto Baggio, uh, AC Milan. Um, yeah, it's, it's just great memories. Of the, it's, it's obviously going back to the one at the Urbis, uh, the National Football Museum that I went to. It's just you could spend and I did spend hours just walking around, yeah. sort of um, picking out a shirt. Was there anything that you, you saw there, Josh? That was just like you were expecting to see, and it kind of took you back and was a highlight. Um, a few of the MLS shirts, um, MLS shirts that were when the teams weren't what they are now. So there was a few um, teams which started off under a different name. Um, and they turned into the teams that you know now. So um, I think Dallas had a team as well, um, and uh, it was kind of like a lacy shirt, um, sort of not lacy as in Rabsy Nesbitt style, but um, <laughs> it was quite sort of like um, an unusual design that I'd never seen before. Um, yeah. uh, things like that. What else did I like? Um, things that I didn't expect to see there. Um no, because a lot of them you had seen before. Um, yeah. There were a few ones with sponsors that you never knew um, and that they'd made on it. Like, for instance, Newcastle United, I won't go on about them all, all, all podcasts, but they had uh, the 95, 96 home with Centre Park's 
on, on, on as a sponsor. I oh, never yeah. knew they had, I never knew they had that. I thought it was all Nuki Brown, but European yeah. regulations meant that they had to change that. So um, things like that were quite surprising. Obviously, the Fiorentina Nintendo shirt, the Fila. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know anyone who doesn't like that as a kid. That's so good. No. no. Such a nice shirt. One thing I, I I bored my girlfriend with this at the one that I went to, but I knew, I kind of knew it all before. They had the Manchester United ninety four ninety five shirt, the one with Old Trafford in the back of the yes, shirt. Yes, and for the Champions League, they couldn't have Umbro on the the kit on the, on the, the stadium off, on the stadium because it was sort of double advertising and they had to take it away. And I thought that's yeah. a great little bit of knowledge. I'm a bless my girlfriend. She was looking at me like, "Oh, that's really, really interesting." Couldn't, <laughs> it is, couldn't, couldn't give a damn. It is, it is, it is interesting. Um, that's the sort of thing that I would be like, "Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you so much." <laughs> I, I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate. Oh it. well, uh, thank you. Finally, found someone that can appreciate <laughs> my boring kit facts. Um, this next one, I mean, the bench wear. Obviously, you picked jackets before. Yeah. There's, some, there's some great ones there. That sort of waistcoat I spy there. That's, that's right. a Newcastle. Yeah, that was one which they didn't actually know the actual origins of it. I've seen a few sort of um, icons and legends in it, but I don't quite understand the uh, idea behind why it was a thing. But yeah, there it is. I mean, if you were getting married, it's perfect oh. to uh, sort of have because you could add that you could add the badge under your jacket. You'd get away with it. Oh, you get away with it. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend. I had a friend that actually wore the England Umbro 2010 shirt to a wedding once. Um, he had a he had a blazer on it, but because it's got a nice sort of like collar on it, he got away with it. And I think England were playing that day as well in the Euro. So, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> dedication, absolutely dedication. Ama amazing. And then we'll I've wanted to some Premier League shirts through the years. Van Nistelrooy there, Gerard. I can see his Genoa shirt there. I believe yeah, the grey Newcastle right. Adidas. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Ravinelli, great kit. Ravinelli, King, what a guy. Yeah, some some absolute legends there. Um, it, yeah, it just it's just it's just a mecca. That's all I can say. Like the pictures I've seen from the one in London, obviously so much bigger than the one that was up here. It just looks like it was just a playground for for kit fanatics. You must have been just buzzing walking around there. Oh, I went four times. I went each yeah, day. They were absolutely sick of me. Absolutely <laughs> sick of me. I was doing that thing where I was trying not to clock their eyes. Like, oh right, you saw your first time. That was good. Second time, you know, yeah. Third time, right? What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it's just great. You now I don't really travel down sort of south into London that often, so I had to make yeah. most of it. Um, and when it's a blooming massive football show exhibition, I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, like it's the same. Obviously, there's a man, there's a classic football shirts um, store, obviously in Manchester. Yeah, been, been so many times, and it's. I mean, I even saw Doug in there once, and it must have been when it first opened, and he was actually working in there. He had a massive conversation with him and started talking about sort of everything, really. And it was just, I wanted to go back in, and I thought, I can't go back in again because if he sees me, he's going to think, What's wrong yeah, with you? That's what it's like. Know, it. But, yeah, but people, people want to talk about it. That's just, yeah. it. that's the difference. Yeah. Um, and also, they've got a new store they're bringing it. But obviously, it was, it was there when we were there. They've moved just about so a mile up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, they've got a cafe in there and things like that now. And yeah, fair play to them. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I know, hopefully, they bring that one up to Manchester because I believe they've got like classic classic football games you can sit and play and all that sort oh, of stuff. It's really, brilliant. really up market. Really good. Um, so yeah, tro um trolling for your twitter just looking for some pictures obviously we can talk about this next one i really like just for the fact it's um it just made me laugh really and it actually makes the kit look a lot better you said someone sent you that oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's 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 i think that's kit kingdom it does that he always he always yeah. sort of changes it and um i saw it and i was like oh god i'm not gonna share that because it's, it's oh, so self self sort of flatter <laughs> flattering but no it actually works it really does. It's, it's, it's the thickness of the actual um, uh, 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 sort of text and the yeah. font there as well works quite well because I think it's like, is it Team Viewer? It is Team Viewer now, yeah. And it just, it's just, it's not bad. It's not, it's not a Chevrolet, is it? Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm quite, oh, I quite like it, that. Yeah, it's more, it's more sort of the sharp. It looks more like the sharp sort of yes. font and, and size. It, it really, it really suits it. And, Cristiano looks happy to be wearing it, mate. So, you, you know, you can obviously take that to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ronnie. Go on, Ronnie. <laughs> and the next one, I mean, this is, I think, every 
kit for that extreme to have this done. We, I know for a fact I definitely want this done. So afterwards, if you can put a bit of a word in, mm-hmm. this, I'm seeing this. You had, your own shirt, you had your own shirt made. I, I know I saw you wore it down at the exhibition. Yeah, I did. Tell, tell us a story about this, mate, because this is yeah. amazing. Yeah, so um, Aria, um, Fabrizio from Aria, uh, he's such a nice chap and he's just sort of got in touch with us on LinkedIn one day and just said, you know, we would, I'm going to I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to go for it. Um, <laughs> Josh, we'd like you to come down to Italy and we'd like you to do a kit range with you. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> really? I said, why? How? We are fans of your channel. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is fantastic. Thanks ever so much. I said, why? What's going on? I mean, what, what have I done? And he goes, we just, I'm going to stop it now. Um, but he goes, uh, we just like this sort of positivity and uh, the fact that, you know, you're a Lincoln fan. We supply Lincoln's kits. Um, we just really want to play around with the logo. We want to sort of see whether and not we can come up with a custom shirt which your community might like so um alberto is the designer um such a sound chap he's done all the designs you know palmer um you've got norwich as well they had he did all of them um such a talented guy and yeah he just sent me a pdf full of custom designs um and i just chose one which i was wanting to but because i told them that i was going to this exhibition i said we'd love for you just to sort of wear this and see what people think so i did that and we decided on this one it got done quite quickly and sent over but they've got so many more which um they've got which um i'm thinking of maybe putting a poll out and seeing whether or not people actually want to potentially have one i had a few people that said oh where can i get this from and i was like really you want to buy it i said oh (laughs) wow i mean okay um and we went back and he said yeah we'll do that and they're also on about doing a uh, competition um where someone can actually design their own shirt with them they're gonna bring them over to palmer where the actual um headquarters are treat them to a game as well at palmer and uh, get to see their kit being made um and i thought that's amazing because you don't often see that sort of transparency and openness by brands you know you've got your nikes your pumas and such which are great but they seem to be sort of very much behind closed doors so the fact that they're so open and wanting to do things like this is is great um i learned loads of little facts as well from them apparently um uh they sell more lincoln city shirts than palmer shirts (laughs) oh wow 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 okay yeah, just okay. because I think the culture over there in Italy is that they don't always want to buy replica shirts. I think a lot of them go to the games in like old, old shirts or just fashionable casual gear. Um, yeah. I think it's our sort of mentality over here where we want the replica shirt. So that kind of made sense. Yeah. Um, they also told me that they made Robbie Williams cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they had, they had the, um, the Preston North End. He's at Preston, is he? Or no, he's Port Vale. He's Port, Port Vale, isn't he? Port, yeah, Port Vale, yeah. yeah. Um, they went over to his house and they showed him the shirt, which he, he helped design, and they presented it to him. He started he started crying in, the, in his kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's just amazing. beautiful. So just the stories like that are just brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's great. So I'm, I'm going to be looking out for that competition because I definitely want a talking kit shirt. Yeah, obviously, you had an input in the. You said they obviously they sent you over the templates. Did you have a say on the colours and that as no, well? Not really, no. I mean, um, the logo which you've seen on the actual um, account that I, I designed it, but it's been evolved by people that are a lot better in graphic design than me. Um, and they just pulled all the artwork and they just came up with a variety of different concepts. So um, I told them what I liked. Um, and didn't like and there's some really ridiculous ones um we've got a white version uh, which has like a uh, a strip down the middle which looks great there's a croatia away style black with checkerboard pattern on it that's not been shown off yet um and yeah just just too humble that they'd even think about doing it yeah. really right <laughs> it's amazing it's absolutely amazing um so no yeah uh, some great stories there and uh i think no. I, I would definitely be interested in one Hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's the goal to have your well, own. I think, that, I think that's what they want. I think they want to be shown as being more accessible, and you want to do more things like this. So I think that's 100%. definitely worth a conversation to have with them. Let's yeah. Slip and do it. Hundred percent. Talking kit. But I'm gonna have a little five aside kitsman talking kit game. How about <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in in Palmer? 
Yeah, all expenses paid. All expenses paid. Yeah, on the tap. Pop it on the tap. I'll absolutely love that. Uh, Brilliant, Josh. So, yeah, thanks for coming on. What we're going to do is we're going to get into some other sort of little features now. We're going to move on and we'll get into a feature that we call Kit Simons. So, yeah, we'll we'll do that straight away. Okay, so it's talking kit. So, yeah, Kit Simons. Josh, basically what this is, is we're going to show you five shirts. Um, sometimes they have a, th- a theme or, you know, it could be sort of latest kits that have been released, you know, anything like that. And you just have to rate them between one and five of Kit Simons. Like I said, we, we chose Kit Simons literally because his name's Kit and it fits totally in his name. Yeah. Very, very simple. So this sense. this week, the theme I've I've chosen is Ajax. Aben Amro away shirts. Okay, so very you know classic. Mm. You think of the vertical, the sponsor. Mm. You know, very very unique. Like you say, some out there, not many people have done. So I thought, yeah, we have to do. I've one one of my favorite shirts of all time, which is in this. I've put it in there. Is in this sort of of this list. So yeah, we'll go we'll go into it. And um, so if you don't know, Aben Amro is a bank. Um, it's the third largest bank in the Netherlands. And the current farm was re-established in 2009, uh, following the ac- acquisition of the breakup of the original Aben Amro by the banking consortium consisting of Royal Bank of Scotland, Santander and Fortis. And Ajax was sponsored by Aben Amro between 1991 and 2008. Josh is nodding, so he probably knows all this. Oh, right. no, no. I was also oh, no? about to say something like uh, the, the, the ladies' team have it this season. You do have it, yes. I was oh, that's going, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant that they've got that back on there as well. Like, um, Love that. Fingers crossed for the men's team, hopefully, uh, sort of sort of one day. So, yeah, we'll get into the first one then. And this is the 2006-2007 away shirt. Um, this season, Ajax won the KNVB Cup. And the Johan Cruyff Shield, and they came second in the league, twelve points behind the champions PSV. You probably notice it's red and black. Obviously, the sponsor mm. badge and Adidas logo are all in white. It's got red stripes. It's the Team Geist um, template that yes. was very sort of. Um, it was used in this year, obviously being the World Cup year or just after mm. the World Cup. Um, I saw you tweet, and I've obviously seen it before. Obviously, rumours that the big yeah. six. Adidas teams, United, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Bayern, are all going to get their own sort of um, throwback to this this season, uh, which would like be it. nice. And I think United is very similar to this colour as well that I've seen. So, yeah, what are we making of this kit, Josh? What you think? What are your thoughts on it? Um, I, yeah, it's not. It's, it's actually not a nice looking shirt. I don't think. <laughs> it's. A, I, mean, you know, I, I could sit here and say, "Oh, yeah, it's really good. It's really iconic. I really like." <laughs> but it's a bit messy, isn't it? I mean, um, I. It, this looks a bit sort of um, uh, scattered. I, I, I would go for a. I'd go for a two or a three on this. Um, yeah. I, I always got told um, I did graphic design. Um, like when I was in college, I, I'm, I'm no way a graphic designer anymore. But I always got told that things should have a meaning and this looks kind of like yeah we'll just put that there we'll decorate it here <laughs> and whereas you know i don't know it just doesn't seem to have any logical meaning to me no uh james yeah i, I, I could definitely get what you're saying there uh, with that one josh because it'd be interesting to see if the red is sort of on the ribs as, as you're wearing it or if that's gonna yeah. if that's actually on the, on the front of the kit um yeah. not adverse to the black quite like the black there um but i'm gonna give it a three um it's certainly not going to be um top of the list i can imagine despite the fact i've not seen the other four yet uh, or however many you've got but uh yeah three for yeah. me i'd be surprised if the other four scored lower than that because some of them are <laughs> perfect for me absolutely beautiful so so josh you said two or three you can just... mm, i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go for a two i think a two and yeah James with a three, not very well thought of that one. Um, so your next kit is the 1996-1997 away shirt. Uh, with this shirt, they came fourth in the league. I axed 16 points off champions um, PSV again. It's got that very sort of classic Umbro um, logo of the time. I remember Manchester United shirt having that sort of, there was no Umbro logo, just the name. Uh, 
Umbro. Uh, very scattered, yeah, just like James has got on there. Uh, sort of Ajax and the badge down the sleeves. And the pattern, it's hard to make out. It just looks like sort of scribbling with sort yeah, of... Yeah, I wonder what that was. Yeah, it has to have some sort of reference, hasn't it? I'm sure there is one, but I don't yeah. know. It doesn't immediately come out to us. No, it's not. So, James, I'll start with you on this one. What are your thoughts on the 96-97 away shirt from Ajax? It's very Bayern Munich-esque, isn't it? The colour the color scheme there with that one. Um, I do rate it more than the first one that you've shown. So, I've got yeah. to give it a little bit higher than that. Um the pattern is a little bit messy, though, isn't it? I'm not. It's not really. Um, I can't really make out if it's anything specific that they're trying to uh, come up with there. I'm going to give it a three again because um, I can't really rate it much higher than the last one. But um, I do like the collar on there. The collar's quite nice. Um, but I want to say three out of five Kit Simons for me. Yeah. All right, and Josh. Yeah, I think there's a bit more structure with this one, isn't there? Um, they've gone with the same sort of um, uh, organisation with the uh, Umbro, the badge and the um, sponsor again still. So it's yeah. kind of very ajax there, so they're keeping on brand. Uh, yeah. I'd like to think that the actual um, uh, sort of like uh, pattern is something to do with uh, like a uh, statue or something. Because I'm yeah. guessing that's what the um, badge is. It's like like a, almost it's like a king or a god or something. Um yeah, I go three. Three. So the little the knowledge I have of the badge. Um, so I'm sure it's someone to do something to do with some old is it Nordic sort of statue or someone right. famous in, in Nordic history. And obviously, I don't know if you know what it's obviously made up of eleven lines, the, the yes. badge, which makes up for the eleven players on on the on the yeah, the team. Um and obviously my favorite thing of the Ajax badge is most most badges you'll see. The name is always sort of central and the top, yeah. but they're both at sort of you know Ajax is at eleven o'clock, where Amsterdam's at sort of five o'clock, and it's really off the sort of centre, and it just I think just makes the badge badge always pop in what whatever kit it is. But yeah, I think it's, it it reminds me of those sort of typical nineties the nineties template uh, 97, 90, 96, 97 template Ajax uh, uh, sorry Umbro had for their mm -hmm. team. I think Manchester United. Um, England and stuff like that because I think if you look, you can see it says AFC Ajax sort of down near the belly button area. And I think I thought that was a, so yeah. I wonder what that was. I didn't know if yeah, it was like a watermark or anything. Or <laughs> that's, that's, what I, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, because Manchester United's had Manchester United um, as well at that, at that time. So, so sorry, scores again, James. Did you say three? three did you yeah. say? And yeah, Josh? Uh, yeah, three. Both three. Yeah, three again. Just uh, double checking on that one. Uh, I think this is where it starts to sort of level starts to go up a little bit now, guys. Um, so the next kit is the ninety one ninety two away shirt. Here it is. It's sort of green with a sort of yellow triangle. It's got yellow pinstripes as well. Nice little collar uh, it's by Umbro. It's got the classical sort of early nineties Umbro logo on there. Uh, this season, uh, Ajax won the 1992 UEFA Cup final against Torino, um, and Ajax won that on away goals, 2-2 draw in Turin, and a 0-0 in Amsterdam. Uh, they came second in the league, three points behind PSV. I personally think this is a beautiful kit, and it's it's one I think would look great now, retro sort of on sort of classic football shirts, you think, and all sort of kit websites. Josh, your turn to go first on this one. What's your thinking? It immediately sort of brings Celtic to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's got that sort of like Celtic's away or third shirt vibe going on. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a lover of pinstripes. Um, I, I think, you know what? I think it would look better if it wasn't just that standalone yellow sort of triangle there. I must admit, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I say that's a three there. Yeah. I think if I think if there was a bit more symmetry going on, and maybe that was carrying on, or it was a bit higher up, and the actual um, sponsor was a bit further down, maybe. But no, it just looks a bit off to me. Yeah. Mm. Okay, a free a free from Josh there and James. Yeah, I, I think out out of the ones you've shown so far, I think this one is is an improvement on those, if you like. Yeah. Um, now you've said Celtic, I can definitely see that. <laughs> yeah. Um, now you've mentioned it. I'm a fan of the pin trap there as well. It'd be interesting to see does the, if the triangle sort of carries on over the shoulder. Yeah. But I like I like the way it sort of it still pops out from the collar because the collar's still got the the green um, on there on the outside before the yellow. Uh, I'm going to go for a four on this one, four out of five. Nice, nice. So it's getting a little little bit better now. Um, but I, yeah, again, I'll, I'm 
fan of that one. Definitely the best one of the uh, the ones I've shown so far. So the next one, this one just screams certain players to me, and obviously we'll, we'll come to it in a minute. So the next one we've got for you is the 94-95 away shirt. Very famous kit for Ajax. Obviously yeah. worn in the 1995 Champions League final against Milan, which Ajax won 1-0. Thanks to a goal from 18-year-old Patrick Cliver, which made him the youngest player to score in a Champions League final. They also won the league by seven points in this season. I mean, so it's, it's sort of blue with sort of purple pattern on it. It's got a nice reddish collar with a blue and white stripe alongside. As you can imagine, it's got that white Ab and Amro down the, down the vertical um, left-hand side. Classic Umbro sponsor. But even even better than this, the badge is two colours, which I really like. It's got the oh, yeah. the person that makes up the eleven limes, and Ajax and Amsterdam are both in white, and then the lines around the side are in the purple, and it's got a nice umbro um, down on the right hand side as well. I think this is a classic, classic kit, probably made famous by that Champions League final. Uh, James, we'll start with you. Uh, your thoughts on the ninety four ninety five away shirt? Yeah, for me, you're definitely they're getting stronger as they as they come through these ones. Really like it. It seems like the sponsor on this one is a little bit further away from the badge. Um, yeah. I know that Josh mentioned about positioning before, and I think that does make a big difference on this shirt. Uh, like it, I like the colour is a slightly different colour as well, isn't it? To the the purple and yeah, the, that's yeah. on the on the rest of the kit. I'm going to give this uh, a four and a half. I do like this one. It's a really nice kit. Uh, four and a half kit Simons out of five for me. It's a really nice one. Sweet. And Josh? Yeah, again, I like it. It's um, very sort of um, unconventional. It's um, sort of forward thinking almost, isn't it? I mean, it's not using any of the traditional sort of patterns or anything or stripes. I think that's really forward thinking on their behalf. Didn't spot the multicolored badge. I didn't at all. Um, so that's really nice. Yeah. I didn't know we were doing decimals either. So I'll go through. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought, yeah, um, I thought we were doing the Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. Non decimals. Um, no, I'll go. Um, I'm going to go 3.5 on that one. 3.5. Nice, nice. Mm. Um, I just wanted to give a honorable shout out as well. Um, because it, it obviously not back then. But when you look back, you look at this team. So this is the uh, Champions League um, final team that Ajax started with. And if you just look down that list, I'll go through it. So number one, Edwin van der Sar. Number two, Michael Reisinger. Number three, Danny Blint. Number four, Frank Rijkaard. Five, Frank De Boer. Six, Clarence Seydorf. Um, seven, Fanini George. Eight, Edgar Davids. Nine, Ronald De Boer. Ten, Yara Lippmanen. And 11, Mark Overmars. I mean... Good what a team. team. <laughs> what an absolute yeah. team. I know a lot of them were young. Cliver, um, stayed off. Uh, David's very young at that time. Uh, Mark Overmars also. But you just look at it, it's just classic, isn't it? All yeah. over. It's such a, a great, great team. That's great. And also seeing Van der Sar, I didn't know he ever was 24. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he's always been sort of, uh, yeah, wasn't he 40 retired or something like that? Yeah, I, yeah. Around that for United, yeah. Um, Definitely, but it's what a team, what a, what a great team. Okay, um, my final kit for you. Um, I say I've put this one because it's my personal favorite, one that I owned as a kid. My first non Manchester United shirt, uh, other than England, that I think I owned. It's the 95 96 away shirt, and it's this one. I absolutely love it. Uh, Ajax won the league by six points in this season, and also the Johan Cruyff shield, uh, as well. So it's a green kit. Um, it's like a darkish green, got a black, green and white collar, mm -hmm. um, white sort of cuffs um, on, the, on the end of the sleeves with black lines. It's got a big Ajax badge sort of into the in the shirt. The background. Um, the the background, yeah. It's got the Umbro um, logo, the Ajax badge and the Ab and Amro all in white. A little bit closer to the badge than James probably likes, but for me, it's the best of the lot by, by a mile for me anyway. So, um, Josh, we'll start with you. What's your thinking on the 95 96 away shirt? Yeah, I'd have to agree. It's the strongest out of a lot, personally. Um, I think the colorway is delightful as well. Kind of like a what is that a teal or a turquoise? Or a, I don't I think, know. Yeah, teal. I think it's more sort of uh, teal, sort of darker, darker teal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm guessing would that would that be a black short as well? 
Ooh, I think that yeah. one's Black Shorts, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because it's yeah. weird how sometimes a short can also make a shit. A yeah. Kit. Um, now you've just yeah. said that, I, I've gone, oh, because it just thought of that. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Yeah. It'd be great, <laughs> wouldn't it? I mean, I love the cuff detail. I must admit, I do think that the how um, having the watermark of the uh, uh, badge in the background as well is very yeah. cool. Um, oh, yeah, that's that's the best of the lot for me. Four. Four. Mm. Nice, nice. James? Yeah, no, it scores score strongly. Again, I think you've gone in some sort of chronological order here from uh, sort of weakest <laughs> to strongest. But Maybe. yeah, um, I do like the I do like the um, the sleeves, and obviously, I imagine it's quite um, sort of grips on, on on the arm, which I'm a fan of. The collar is great; it's not too big. It's sort of a sort of how you'd want a collar really on a shirt. I do like the, sort of the the badge being bigger in the background. You're right with the sponsor. It is a little bit too close to the badge if you're going to nitpick at it um, compared to the one that we said looked like the Celtic, which was a little bit further away, was it? But um, yeah. no, it's a great one. I'm going to say, you know what, as it's one of your favourites, Aaron, why not? Let's go for five on that one. Oh, thank you just so much. Set it apart from the others. Yeah, can you're, I, you're too kind. Can I just make an observation on um, the closeness to the badge and the sponsor? Could it be to do with the sizing? Potentially. Yeah, like in terms of uh, that could be a small. I mean, um, yeah, maybe. I'm wondering whether or not that's the only reason why there's a fluctuation between between that. But I mean, I see what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, may yeah. You may be maybe right there. Mm. I remember on some of them it was almost like over the shoulder, like the the sponsor. I I, I feel like I've maybe misremembered it. I don't know what what the where the actual sponsor was on these types of shirts, Ryax. But um, I think they were. I think they were always sort of on the sort of vertical on the chest i think down yes. but yeah no that uh, that's what i'm still looking for I, I want that for my collection again obviously i was uh, very very young when i bought that but I, I can remember the day i actually bought i remember the shop that was in manchester city center i remember the, the day and yeah it's what, it's what i fall in love with thinking obviously now back then obviously it was united or england or whatever that's the only kits i really cared about uh, or maybe the only one i can think of other than that was sort of the 94 brazil shirt which for me, goes down as sort of the World Cup winning one. Love it, but do, that one. Do, do you know where it went? That should no. I'd, what about growing it? And it probably was just got passed on, probably to probably James. Probably had it because he was uh, James is my cousin. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah, so I don't recall having that. Probably got shirt. passed down. Oh, probably don't got blame, passed down. Don't blame the loss of that shirt on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just don't want to seem like I, I don't know what happened to it. Sadly, but yeah, it's uh, one of my favourite shirts of all time. But no, that was. Kit Simons uh, reviewing sort of Ajax, Abbott and Amro shirts from the past. Okay, so we're going to get into what I've quietly said to everybody that I know that this is probably the greatest feature of all time. It's dead unique. No one's ever come up with it. It is, of course, Desert Island Pit. So this is where we ask our guests to pick a home shirt, an away shirt, and a third shirt or slash wild card shirt that they would take to a desert island with them and then pick one that they would keep at the end. So we spoke to Josh and he sent over his kits. Very great picks, I have to say, before we get into it. Some some fabulous kits. So we'll get into your home shirt, Josh. Mm. Would you like to tell us which one you've chosen and why? Yeah, it's a uh, Roma 14 to 15 home shirt uh, by Nike. Uh, I think it was Nike's. It was Nike's first season with them actually. Um, before that, I think they had a falling out with Kappa, uh, so they had a season where they were made in house. Um, yeah. So this season was the first one with them. And you mentioned earlier about Josh. What do you like more? Um, you know, um, sponsors or um, non-sponsors. And it's hard because sometimes there's like this um, argument about a shirt that might look unfinished, like it needed one. Now, this yeah. one, I think, just doesn't need one. It, it's effortless. Uh, it's timeless. Um, you know, the actual, uh, I think it was a photo shoot for this one. I, I think it was outside the Coliseum. And it had um, De Rossi, Totti. Um, who else did it have? I think it had uh, a couple more as well. Uh, Javinho as well was in that one. Um, but it just 
looks great it's so simple um it's so roma it could be worn in any era i think as well it's got such a great feel about it um it was also famously the one which totty had that celebration where he had a selfie of himself um so uh you know things like that will be remembered but yeah just the name set on it as well was just iconic um i did have it in a regular fit which wasn't 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 like the one i'd seen on the players obviously and i'm after a player fit one which hopefully i'm going to get which was a little bit more tapered bit better fit but for me that's the grail um it's a fairly newish shirt as well a lot of people would sometimes say well, why don't you want one from the 80s or the 90s mm. but this one to me it just it's just classy it's really nice. I like the I like the collar on that. That's the sort of thing you could probably get away with that as a smart casual get up for the pub or something as well. Like yes. it's not. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. You could really dress that up if you wanted to as well. Um, it's almost that collar is almost like a golf shirt. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. But That's it's a really exactly. nice collar. You could wear that out in town. I think you really could. Um, <laughs> just that that color combination is just it's beautiful. I mean, yeah. the sort of the. The burgundy sort of, and then the gold, and the night it looks just perfect on it. It just sort of sits mean. really, really well. It's, it's a beautiful shirt. And Ro Roma have had, you think most Roma shirts have been absolutely great. I think even the New Balance ones um, are, are, are really nice as well. I think mm -hmm. you don't really miss whichever sort of brand they are with. They don't really miss. And yeah, it's a it's a beautiful shirt. Even sort of the Lotto ones from the 90s, I remember. Yeah, I know. Um, they were great. They were they 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 remember I, I sort of remember Totty coming up and sort of being the adorer they had as well. They've it, it, yeah. had they've had so many. They've had so many and it's just beautiful. It's a winning colour combo, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. So yeah, he's I I rank this one. He score high for me on this one. Uh Josh, it's a great, great pick as your home shirt. So moving on, you picked uh, again another classic away shirt. I think we could talk about this one for a long time. I probably will do. So, yeah, let's get into your away shirt. Who have you gone for for this one? Yeah, so gone for um, the Newcastle United. Uh, I believe it was the ninety-five, ninety-six away. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's the the one which was famous for the entertainers. Um, just a fabulous shirt. Uh, it's just so brilliantly put together. Um, color combination as well. Just well, well. They just complement each other so good. Uh, it's a continuation of the Grandad collar as well. Um, yeah. Quite hard to pull off, actually, but, you know, it, fantastically when it's buttoned up as well, it, the, the, the pattern and the design carries on. There's no um, sort of repeat of what's happened this season with Castor, where there's like a white trim down there, which takes away from everything. It's where your eyes go straight away. Um, it's just great. And also, I really appreciate how the Newcastle Brown Nails sponsor had like an off-white to it. Um, yes. I don't know why they've done that, but I can remember seeing it on a few of the score draw ones because finding one of those sort of legit ones is so hard. And um, they carried it on to some of the remakes as well. And you appreciate it. It's just really, really well put together. Um, you know, the likes of Ginola, Shira sort of gracing it. Um, I also brought it back in the 18-19 season of Puma. Yeah. Um, they had the Fun 88 in gold and the Adidas, and I think the actual badge was in gold as well. It's a monochrome. Um, it looked good, but it was close. And I like what <laughs> they were doing with it, but this one for me. And also the fact that the Adidas is just the word mark as well. Yeah, I was going to uh, yeah. yeah, Yeah, you don't see that. Well, you did see a lot back then, but maybe that's something which will happen um sort of going forward they like to sort of reference the past but for me it's just it's just it's just beautiful yeah <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. Def takes me back to the times of growing up as a kid what you know united and newcastle were really sort of rivals you know the yeah. whole sort of keegan meltdown and stuff like that and i don't remember the nuki brown logo being so small i always think it has been bigger yeah i did it was on the home but on the away yeah on the way it's it looks so much better. It fits really nice under the sort of the buttons. Yeah, <clears throat> well placed. Yeah, I know. I, I think it's a very classic kit. Uh, James, what what's yeah, your thing? Button down works really well with this. As Josh mentioned, there, the the uh, Adidas sign. It's not got the anything else above it. But I quite like that on there. It it, it doesn't take away from the shirt at all. The fact that it's not there. Um, the obviously the three stripes. I don't believe they're not going right the way up to the neckline, are they? They're just no. Not Stay on that. and I yeah. quite like that as well I really like that as a touch so it's good the badge is just 
I mean, you just know that's just it, that is just Newcastle United Football Club, isn't it? That, that shirt there, hundred <laughs> percent. With the exception of you know perhaps a home shirt you could have picked. I mean, this just screams Newcastle, so it's a really yeah. good pick. Really nice colour set, definitely. Um, great away shirt, Josh. Uh, so yeah, moving on finally to your. You picked a third shirt, haven't you? I'm not a wild card. It is a third shirt. Mm. Um, I know for a fact James is gonna love this one. He's, we've mentioned it. We did a Euro special, and I think this shirt was mentioned. Um, so yeah, tell us about your third shirt that you've picked. Yeah, it was the third shirt for Italy for the 2020s uh, Euros. I think was when it was meant to be the original one until obviously it got put back. But it's a Renaissance shirt. Um, yeah, it came out. I think first um in terms of where you know usually you could they have the away that comes out then the home but in, in fact I'm, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself because they usually don't do third shirts for international teams um Very so when nice. this came around i mean obviously you've got the england one that sort of sky blue one back in the yeah. uh, early 90s and whatnot but yeah. this just fantastic and the actual sort of patterning inside it um just screams sort of class um i also found out as well that apparently there's a bit of a backstory that i think some of the junior players um, before they could wear blue of um you know the azuri um they actually wore green and it was oh, like okay. it was kind of like you are not worthy of of blue until you've tr- proven yourself in this <laughs> like a black belt like a black yeah. belt. <laughs> pretty, pr- pr- pretty much, pretty much. But that story is quite nice. Um, but it just works so well. I mean, um, you wouldn't immediately probably think Italy, but um, with green. But the more you look at it and the the, the delicate detailing, um, yeah, I think they did a sort of photo shoot in this like uh, sort of sort of like a museum, sort of the, the, the old building with lots of cool and trendy looking people. Um, and it just screams class and I think it's sold so well. It's just a shame we didn't see a lot of it. Um, mm. I don't think it made itself to the main tour. It didn't, did it? It was no, the, um, the, the third templates, which a lot of people frowned upon. But yeah. for, for, for me, it's a shirt which um, is, is apparently going to become available very soon on, on, on a website, which uh, a lot of us probably use. Um, so hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to get my hands on it. <laughs> I know, I know which website. I think I got this shirt from that website, Josh. Oh, yes. so, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Very well versed on that website. Um, for, for James, yeah, you go first, mate, and I'll, I'll, I'll finish off. No, I like it. The collar and the cuffs, obviously, just very nice with the with the sort of the, the darker blue, if you like. Are, are we going, are we saying it's a green color? This shirt, what would you say it's, it is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a green teal, isn't yeah. it? It's, yeah. It's, yeah. What they yeah. color it? Yeah, it's very sim- it's very similar to the Ajax one that we saw. Yeah, it's like yeah. very similar green. The gold um, helps it pop. It makes the badge pop as well. And like you say, yeah. just the, the the pattern in it is great. So no, it's a it's a really good pick. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm just seeing it. The iconic Azuro blue remained exclusive to the full national team and was used as motivation for youth players to earn a right to wear the jersey. Yeah. So I'm just reading up on here, but yeah, it's kind of like you know you're not worthy of it yet. You're wearing this. But yeah, that's oh, brilliant. I say, so, yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm usually uh, a stickler for having you know the correct color badge on shirts, but the, the gold alongside the yeah. gold puma just it just works so well. And the pat you mentioned the pattern sort of in, ingrained in the shirt, it, it reminds me of sort of a peacock tail. Yes, yes, it does. That's very, a great show. So I'm trying very, to explain it and I can't. But that's great. Yeah, that's... Very reminds me very much of, uh, of, of a peacock, but it's a beautiful shirt. And again, you know, there's certain sort of teams national teams just don't miss when it comes to shirt and italy are just one of those teams you think back again deodora in sort of 94 world cup i think they had and then then you think obviously nike the the nike the nike kits if had kappa and even a lot a lot of the puma ones have been have been amazing so again for a long time as well puma and them have been sort of with each other for a long time Was was it puma in the 2006 world cup i think I think so. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got. Uh, yeah, this this one was quite. Um, yeah, yeah. That one as well, Perlo. Um, yeah, yeah. They've had them for great. quite some time. Great, some great kits. Great. I mean, three very strong kits there, uh, Josh. You've you've done. You've raised the bar, I think. Yeah. In terms of, of what, <laughs> what you pick. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, if you had to pick one, um, that's a, on this desert island, you're going to mm-hmm. keep one. Which one are you going to go for? I'll have to go Roma. Yeah. Wait, I won't even go for my club. I'll go Roma. Um, <laughs> mainly, mainly, mainly because I'm not even a pure blood of uh, Newcastle. I mean, I very much um, swore my allegiance to them later on in life. So, um, 
you know, if I'd have chosen a Blackburn shirt, maybe in there, maybe. But um, no, Roma for me, they're my sort of team where I always follow them. If they're on TV, I'll watch them. I'm always got an interest in them. You know, Jose Mourinho there at the moment, uh, fitting right in. Uh, Francesco Totti, another classic uh, player who I idolise so well, um, so much. Um, yeah. yeah, it'd be it'd be that one, I'm afraid. No, it's a great pick, great pick and a great kit. So, yeah, that was Josh's Desert Island kits and what free kits that he has chosen for us. You are listening to Talking Kit. Awesome. So we have got a little bit of a surprise now on this on this uh, bit of the podcast. So as you may know, being kit fans listening to this podcast, there are sort of, it's a new phenomenon that's come up where these sort of businesses have started the mystery kit boxes you see them everywhere on twitter or instagram sort of you know competitions retweet this tweet if this player scores if this player plays you can win a mystery box and you can so you know and they're very cheap you know looking on certain ones you know like 35 pound and you can get brand new kits i've seen the ajax third bob marley shirt psg all these new kits being being sent out to, to fans and it's a great way of you know getting a new shirt for your collection at a very reasonable price i think it's a it's a great a great thing that they're doing um so we have been sent a shirt this is by mystery football and i've not opened it yet it's been bloody hard not opening it i have to say <laughs> um i've been desperate to open it so yeah mystery um football they're at mystery football 11 on twitter and instagram and it's really simple if you've not seen it before it's something new to you basically how it works is you go on their website, you pick a mystery box. I think the they do sort of three different ones. You do it in kid sizes, and they do a um, a normal shirt, um, which is like thirty five pound. You can do a national shirt, which is the same price, and even offer you a classic shirt for around sixty pound, which is which is really really good. So you pick your shirt, you pick your sal- you pick your size, and then you tell them which shirts you don't want. So for me, I said to them, no teams from England, uh, no teams from Scotland, no Real Madrid, as I'm not a fan, no Argentina national uh, team. And I said, not that I would get it, but not the Ajax third shirt from this season, as I've already purchased it. Um, So yeah, I just didn't want anything. Obviously, no England team. If it's turning up and it's Man City, it's going to be a bit of a damp squid for me, isn't it? So yeah, I've not opened it. All I've done is taken the tape off so it's easier to do on the podcast. So here we Big go. Reveal. Big reveal. I'm going to open it and see which shirt we have been gifted from this year. I'm going to open. Oh, wow. Um, so there's a little information. This is, oh, I'm happy with this one. This is a really nice <laughs> There we go. The face says it all. Look, oh, at, it. look, at, look at how happy he is. <laughs> That's what kits make us do, isn't it, guys? I know. You know, you get really it excited about this sort so of thing. I have got the Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, I think, is this the third shirt? I think it is uh, well, from I this think season. It is, mate. Yeah, Jacko, yeah. lovely. Jacko, Very it's got nice. a really nice sort of, sort of yeah. um, hologram no, badge on there. It's really, yeah, really nice. High detail, um, isn't it? Yeah, really, really nice shirt. That I'm very happy with that one. Um, yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you very much, Mystery Football. I've been dying for that. That's a great shirt. Um, it is nice. So yeah, make sure you go and check them out. It's Mystery Football 11, um, and you go and get involved with them. Like especially if you want to get involved in those sort of competitions, uh, win yourself one. If not, very cheap price, thirty five pound for a brand new shirt. That's a lot. That's a lot dearer than thirty five pound to buy in a shop. So yeah, um, <clears throat> thank you very much, Mystery Shirt Football. And anyway, they give you a little note, and it tells you sort of um, what team it is. So by Leverkusen in Germany and the Bundesliga, and then on the back they just say, "Yeah, what did you get?" So send a little picture. They'll probably give you a nice little retweet and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely go and check them out for uh, your your mystery shirt football needs. Um, so Josh, ending the podcast. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. We've really yeah, appreciated you. No, I really love it. And um, every talking day is a school talking, day, and yeah. I tell you what, Josh, you've you've really enlightened me. It's nice to see someone with such huge enthusiasm about it as we do. Yeah, so it's been great. Oh, it cheers, on. man. Definitely. Yeah, no, and, it's, uh, yeah, great. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Like I say, I love I love seeing your tweets. You know, you're very sort of educational and kits like i think i like to think i know some stuff and but yeah like i say every, every day is a school day and there's so many more people with so much more knowledge and it's great to find out about certain things i think we had the conversation about the center parks shirt i think we in the dms we was talking about it and i was like wow that's 
that's a mate amazing bit of knowledge but no yeah mate good luck with everything no, i really um, appreciate it thank you so, so and much yeah, no doubt we'll we'll keep talking um, busy, right? <laughs> so yeah thanks everyone for listening it has been talking kit episode four we will be back very very soon don't forget as well we do the live show on youtube on fridays where there is premier league football for the strip down and we just go through a gif that is sent by the premier league on twitter screenshot it and go through each fixture breaking down each kit uh james again as always thanks for jumping on mate being here uh, anything you want to say for me yes you please mate. um nothing for me to say really just um yeah if keep watching, subscribe, like, all that jazz. Uh, keep supporting us. We're still growing. And uh, with people like Josh on board, hopefully, um, we'll get more and more listenership. Uh, but, yeah, we really appreciate you coming along on this journey with us as we go yeah. through kits and uh, awesome. sort of get to talk about a big passion of ours. So, thank you. Exactly. Obsession. Yeah, Obsession. Obsession. Exactly. So, like James said, we are everywhere at Talking Kit. You can find us, obviously, YouTube as well, and wherever you find your podcasts, we are on there. So we will see you very soon with another episode. So as always, keep it talking, Kit.